today i'm going to be showing you a basic tutorial on how to set up the hosts on your mac computer using the map software the first thing you need to do is go to map.info map and download the map software from the free using the free download button after the download has been done you can follow along the installation process which is quite straightforward and easy after the installation process is completed you go to the finders menu on the finders menu you can visit the okay, let's get that expanded a little bit on the finders menu you're going to visit the application menu then search for the map folder i have mine right here open the map folder the conf folder next then uh, the apache folder we're going to be editing three files in this tutorial the first is the htpd.com file my default editor is the atom editor i already have that open on my atom editor the second File we're going to be editing is the httpd.vhost.com file i also have that the third file i'm going to be opening that using the terminal type atom forward slash private don't forget the forward slash private slash etc slash hosts hit enter and we have that open on our atom most of this uh, information you have there won't be here by default this is just the default entry that will have the default entry here. We're not going to have most of all this. This is going to be here by default. We have the HTD plus config, HTD plus HTTPD.vhostfile.com file. So what's the next thing we need to do? I would advise you to go into the HTD folder and create a simple blog folder with a public directory and an index.html file that we're going to use to test, test our application out. So let's first of all edit the httpd.com file. We're going to search for the virtual host. Mine is, should be located around 574. And we're going to uncomment out this line. This tells our computer that we're going to be making use of the httpd.com file. Then you can close that. That's all we're going to be doing in that file. Next file, we're going to move on to the httpd.vhost.com file. And we are going to create a virtual host i already have a sample one created out here oh it's funny enough it has the blog dev i guess i've done that before so we're just going to make use of this you can as well just copy along and the exact code i have here now the application of mam.htdocs.blog.public file is the exact path to the directory which is the document roots then we're going to have a server name which is going to be called blog.dev then we have a server alias which is going to be called blog.localhost along the story we're going to know why we actually have a server alias you can close those since we already have that then we're going to go ahead and clone this in the host file. Let's move that a little bit down. Then we're going to change this to blog.dev and blog.localhost. And you save that. It's asking us for to make changes. So click save. Okay. Now the changes have been made on both files. We can easily minimize that and run our MAMP installation. The moment the map installation runs before we act close you don't need that before you start the server you can go down to click the map at the top menu bar preferences then uh, ports then we change the port to 80 to make sure it, ma it matches the port of them selected by default okay let me go back and open so i can show you that okay, let's get this quickly enter the password under application sorry about that under the application um, I skipped that earlier. It's very important. The comp file, the Apache. I think I think it's under this. Open with Atom. Okay, open with Atom. Okay, okay. Yeah, you see, we're listing out on port eighty. That's basically the ports that I entered in in the app in the map map application map application preference points where you saw me entering that port eighty, so you could list it out. And you can stop your server if you didn't want to start it and restart it again to get things up and running and you're good to go to test your app out so the moment the server is up and running you can simply visit you can go to blog.dev and it doesn't work on chrome yeah so we have this issue recent updates on chrome and um, i think on mozilla firefox prevents us from using .dev as an extension that was why we created the alias you saw earlier as a blog dot dev, they'll have the blog dot um, local host. Why is it not working? Come on, it should work. What do we have here? Let's see. Okay, the server is started. 
So the reason of this prevented us from actually doing that. So if we have the server started, we can simply do blog dot localhost and say welcome to my blog. If we were to try out the blog dot blog dot dev, it wouldn't work. Last on Google Chrome, we can quit this. We can quit this and um, let's try that out on Mozilla Firefox. We say blog dot localhost works, and if you also try blog dot it wouldn't work. On Safari, Safari accepts blog.dev. You see that? But if we were to try blog.localhost, it wouldn't work. So that's basically where we actually had the alias opened earlier to give us an opportunity to actually run both names and test our 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 websites or our web application using multiple web browsers depending on the browser and what it actually accepts. I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to have a lovely day.